This is Actar's Reviews, from anime to figures and beyond. Hey, this is Actar, and welcome to Actar's Figure Reviews. Today we have something slightly different because we are going to review a Gashapon figure. A Gashapon figure is a trading figure, and well, you you're probably saying, hmm, what Gashapon figure? Can, what can I talk about a Gashapon figure? But anyway, this one is really in a league of its own. It's amazing. Now, why do I say that? But first of all, let me introduce this to you. It is the Moving Full Metal Panic Fumofu figure set. And the entire set consists of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 characters with, uh, two, different, with two different versions of uh, Tessa and Chidori, the two somehow main, main characters. And uh, well, it's it's only 945 yen each. Uh, granted, it is a little bit more expensive than the normal Gashapon figures, but uh, you'll see why in a second. So we have the box, we have the characters on the side and the back, nothing much. And let's open it up. It's already open. And wow, just look at that. Just look at the amount of plastic and uh, and stuff that it comes with. Let's open it up. I mean, now that you know it's a moving figure, uh, let me just quickly actually uh, assemble the figure first. And there we have Chidori. Uh, Chidori is a tsundere and my absolute favorite character from the Full Metal Panic series. Uh, she really, really defines the term uh, tsundere. I really love her attitude and the way she interacts with Sagara. Uh, really, really, inter really, really interesting relationship. I absolutely love the way the characters play off each other. Now. First, you can already see, you can already tell that these figures are not your usual Gashapon figures. Uh, first of all, just look at that. The quality is absolutely fantastic. Uh, the painting is great and everything else fantastic, but hold on a second. The main feature of this line is, says, Full Metal Panic moving. And yes, this Gashapon figure is actually articulated. Whoa, two words that I never imagined have come together. Uh, first of all, look at the amount of articulation. The joints aren't that noticeable and are really, um, really reminiscent, I should say, of some uh, cross between the Figma joints and the Revoltech joints. Uh, for instance, we have some Figma-esque joints on the knees and the, not knees, on the uh, ankles and the arms, the shoulder joints, but we have Rev Revoltech-esque joints on the elbows and the knees. And, and uh, at the waist as well. So let's take a look at the figure first. Firstly, we have tons and tons of articulation. We have the arm which moves forwards, back, in and out. We have the elbow, elbow which moves forwards and back. We have the wrist which turns 360 degrees. And of course, the head is on ball joints. We already know that. Uh, it's pretty tight on mine, but uh, still great. The waist is, uh, is uh, movable, as you can see. And um, the leg, as for the legs, we have forwards, back, and you can turn with this joint over here. You can turn, you can, the knee can move forwards and back, and the feet can move left, right, uh, forwards and back, and you can turn side to side as well. What an astounding amount of articulation on a trading figure. It is a trading figure. And if this figure is not enough for you, I mean the quality and articulation, it's not enough for you. You want to get more out of your 900 and, uh, 945 yen? Well, this figure does not disappoint in the slightest. Not only does it give you a great figure, it gives you a ton of accessories as well. Firstly, we have the hands. Now, let me talk about this. We have extra hands. I can't believe that we have one, two, three, four, five, five pairs of hands from pointing to grasping to holding a gun. Wow. I mean, these extra hands ensure that you can actually exchange the accessories, which if each of the characters and each of the character has their own unique accessory. And what does she come with? She comes with her Harisan. 
There are actually two versions of Shidori. One that comes with a bazooka, and the other one that comes with a Harisan, which is a paper fan, the one she uses to smack Sagara around with. <laughs> And I absolutely love this this weapon. I feel that it, it really becomes synonymous with Chidori. Uh, and wow, look at the shading on this. There's actual shading on the Harisan. And it's really, really glossy as well. Hmm. She comes with a stand. You can put her feet in the, one, of the, one of these pegs here. You can see that it actually holds on the feet. And last but not least, she comes with an extra skirt. Now the one I used was actually fanned out and can show can showcase the articulation for the figure. And uh, but this but this one is actually uh, closed. It's more uh, it doesn't have the wind flapping in them. So again, another option for you to decide. Another option that they give you to allow you to pose the figure in a different way. Absolutely outstanding figure, Chidori. I mean, for the trading figure, we have the figure. Extra hands, a, a extra skirt, a base. My goodness, and the articulation on this figure is simply outstanding, and the joints are not that noticeable and doesn't really um, interrupt or actually spoil the entire aesthetic of the figure. Now, what's more, yes, I, as I said in the beginning, I have another one, and I bought this one together with Chidori, and this one features Tessa, uh, the captain of the Tuata di Danan. And the main competitor, I should say, to Chidori in, when she, uh, in the quest for Sagara's affection. Although they don't really know it. Let me just open it up and remove the accessories. Push the ones aside. And look at the mess of plastic that is included. Let's push this aside. Let me quickly ex assemble Tessa over here. And there we have it. Here is Talita Tessa Tessa Rosa. And one, one last thing I need to mention is how accurate these figures are to their anime counterpart. I mean, they really, really, really portray the character well. Uh, once again, we have the same amount of articulation. A, a ton of articulation but for this figure we not only come with her extra hands extra skirt but she comes with a minigun as well so all in all are these figures worth the money hell yes these are absolutely awesome they are outstanding phenomenal i can't really give any more good words to this figure without actually uh, flattering them these figures are out of this world you need to own these figures right now. And looking at the quality of these two figures, I'm actually very, very, very tempted to get the other, the rest of the figures in the set. These figures are really, really worth the money. They're gashapons that come with so much packed into them. Now, why can't we see more gashapon, uh, more figure, more gashapon figures of this quality? I'm really, really don't know, but. Man, these are outstanding figures. So once again, the Zacks are saying. ですか。<笑>